Hello, Luigi Vamp here. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough and tutorial for the Casino Slots plugin for Minecraft. What this plugin is, is slot machines, fruit machines, if you're from the UK, um, for your server. I think this plugin is by far the best of its type. There are a couple more that do the same thing, but, um, well, have a look at them, they're not as good. One runs on signs, and they just don't, they're not as tactile, you know. Uh, anyway, welcome to my server. That big building right in front of you is my club. What better place to have a slot machine than in a club? So we're going downstairs. I think there's one down there already, but yeah, there is. This is the slot machine. Uh, you've got three columns of blocks in the middle, which are your reels, and then the note block. If you left click the note block, spin the reels. It's deducted £500 from my account, and if I get three in a row across the middle, I'll win a prize. And if you don't, I'll just stand here and spend all my money. Oh, there you go. I just want a diamond looting three sword. Casino slots. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Right, let's go have a look at the bucket page. If you want to get this bug in, you need to go to dev.bucket.org. Stick casino slots in the search bar. And pull it out of the list. Grey Wolf 336 is the author of this one. Um, what this is is actually a continuation of Ang Casino, which is above it. Uh, Grey Wolf started doing bug fixes and such. Must have been about a year ago at least of Ang Casino. And well, there you go. It was the original author of the plugin went missing. He's done a top job ever since. Now, if you look in the links on the right, version 255. I've tested this on a 146 server and it's working all right. Uh, currently, it's Craft Bucket Build. 2590 I think it is. Anyway, download the jar file, chuck that in your plugins folder, restart your server and that will generate all the configs. As well as the casino slots jar, you have to have Vault, which is a required dependency of this plugin. And you'll also need some sort of economy plugin as well to work with it. Now, uh, start with the config file. Uh, as you can see here, yeah, this config file that he's got on the page, every single line's all written out nicely for you. But if we have a look at my config, it doesn't have all that governing in it. Right, at the top here, um, standard fodder, debug version, uh, sorry, debug. If you set that to true, every time a player uses the machine, it will output a line to the console, to the server log. Um, track statistics, uh, allow diagonal winnings. Um, normally you have to get three blocks in a straight line to win but if you set that to true then it will accept diagonal ones uh, there's a bunch of townie checks here if you've got the townie plugin um, whether it's enabled only mayors can build slots messages that are outputted uh, only towns can build slots so you have to be part of a town to build them uh, the chat um, when a machine gives a message to a player does it uh, user prefix, does what that prefix is, the colour of that prefix. And then the types node here, these are the actual types of machines that you can make for your server. What you've got is the cost of the machine, how much it is to play, create cost, how much it is to create, obvious enough. The reels, uh, these are the columns of blocks. Uh, the first number is the block ID, 42 being iron blocks. And the second number is, that's how you set the chance of that block coming out. Um, so that's the number of times that that block will appear in the reel. Rewards, these are the prizes that are given out. Um, as with the iron blocks, if you get three iron blocks in a row, it will give you a an enchanted iron sword. Which I think I just won, didn't I? Anyway, three coal blocks give you 300 quid. Three diamond blocks give you 750. If you get three TNT in a row, sorry, yeah, three TNT in a row, it will kill you. And then when you right click the note block, it gives you a little info panel and this is the information that's in that info panel and the rest of these messages here are well if you haven't got permission to play it, if you haven't got enough money to play it, somebody else is playing it blah 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 yeah these are completely configurable, you can make uh, any machines that you want I suppose now you've got the default type which is in the uh, config originally and the action slot which is in there um, I've got three more on my server. I'll stick these in a pasty and put the link in the description of the video. 
just so you can have a look at some of the other types. Uh, this one's a cash lock, there's not that many blocks in it, but it only costs a tenner to play and it doesn't give out great big prizes. Then there's a big money machine which costs ten times as much but pays out ten times as much. And the item slot, which is the one I was playing on. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was right. It gave me a diamond looting sword, not a sharpness 5 sword. Now, the action this here is give 276, which is the ID number for the sword. 21 is the enchantment ID, which in this case is looting. 3 is the level of the enchantment, and then quantity on the end. So, as you can see here, a diamond silk touch pick, silk tuck, <laughs> diamond silk touch pickaxe. Which is 278 for the pick, 33 for Silk Touch. Uh, there's only one enchantment level on that, and you're giving, you're giving out one of them. Uh, as for uh, actions here, give there are quite a few actions you can uh, use on a player should they win on the machine. And again, just below the link for the config descriptions, uh, there is a list of all the actions that you can have. Uh, you can kill a player, kick a player, add XP, strike the bugger with lightning, burn him, blind him, drug up, which I think uh, applies a potion effect. Uh, dizzy. Uh, and yeah, there's a bunch of other ones. This is my favourite little one, though, Command, where you can have the machine run a command as the console uh, should they win a prize. And you can integrate that in many, many different ways. And then there's a bunch of variables to use in that command. Player, cost, uh, type of the machine, uh, the money you want from the machine. Uh, permissions. Now, um, Casino Slots Admin will give you a permission for everything. Uh, casino Slots Create can create uh, any type of the machines. Now, you've got Create Managed. They're... There's three different types of slot machines. Now when I say type, I don't mean the same type as here. Um, this is how you configure what's in the reels and the prizes that are given out. But the managed slots is player-owned slot machines. So you can create an admin slot machine where money isn't taken from a player's account when prizes are paid out and money isn't play, paid into a player's account when other players use the machine. Now managed slots are slot machines that are linked directly to the player's account. So uh, for the machine to pay out money, first of all that player has to put money in there and then when the slot machine wins any money that player who owns it can then withdraw it from the machine and pocket the difference. And then item slots. Item slots are pretty much the same as the admin slots, where well, they're not linked to a player's account, but instead of charging money, you can take an item from a player for using the machine. Uh, and then there's the basic casino slots use, which is what you want to give to players so they can use the machines. And uh, one thing about this, they have to have uh, build permissions too. If they don't have build permissions, then that left click to spin the reels doesn't work. And there's also these with type on the end, where you can limit uh, creation of uh, slot machines to a specific type. So in the config here I have uh, type default. If I was to give them the permission to casino slots create managed dot default, then they can only create uh, the basic slot machine. Um, and it's the same with create for the admins you can create only certain slots uh, managed only certain slots the items again only certain slots and use so the players can only use specific types of slot machines um, yeah and then there's commands uh, again it's, there's a list here on uh, the dev bucket page uh, if, I'll put a link to this page in the description as well uh, it's a good handy reference. It's nice that he's written it all out. There's a lot of plugins out there where they just don't. Uh, I won't go over these. I'll do that in game. Uh, we got over here. I have a slot machine. There's another one I made earlier. Pop a little blue peat shop. Now, if you right click it, you get the little info panel. It gives you the name. Uh, the type is the default. The owner is me. It's managed. 
no and this is an item slot machine where uh, the item ID is 264 and the item amount is 1 so to play this slot machine yeah, it charges you 1 diamond well, anyway I'll get rid of that uh, now to create a slot machine you need 2 blocks uh, to create the admin machine we'll do casino add and then you give the machine a name and select which type Punch the block for the reels, punch the block for the controller. And now you have an admin machine. Left click the block and it spins the reels. Easy. To remove a machine, uh, it's casino, remove, and then the machine name. Uh, manage slots, which are the player linked ones, is casino add managed. And then again, give it a name. And select which type of machine you want. Oh, hold on, oh, what's going on there? Oh, I can't spell default. Uh, punch a block for the rails, punch a block for the controller. Now, if you left click this one, it won't work because I haven't actually put any money in the machine yet. So, casino, deposit some money into slot one, and then we'll stick a grand in there. So now it's actually got some money in the machine to pay out when somebody plays it. nothing. But fortunately, because this is my machine and is managed by me, uh, we can casino withdraw from slot one um, 900. Right, slot one now has 200 quid in its account. This machine will no longer work even though it's got 200 pound in there. If you right click the note block you can see enabled equals false. That's because the funds required are 750 and there's only 200 in there. So you have to put enough money in there for it to have uh, the hoppers at least half full. See, I think. So we're sticking another grand back in there and we're away again. And if I right click it you can see now there's 1300 in there. A grand that I just put in there, 100 pound that it charged me for taking it for playing on the rails. Um, and that's that's your manage slots so if I remove that again I'll show you the item slots which again is it's pretty much the admin uh, machine but it's add item and then you give it a name select the type of machine and then you put in the ID for the item you want to charge and then the quantity. Punch block. Punch block again. Now I'm going to have to give myself some diamonds here, otherwise it won't work. I have to hold the diamond. And then it's taken a diamond from me as a fee for using the machine. these machines players on oh, my server I'll give them two grand when they start and sometimes they'll run past these machines and just throw all their money at it going ooh uh, I won 20 quid <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much it you've got um, right click for information uh, left click to spin the reels and there's three types there's the admin one which isn't linked to an account the item slot which is an admin machine but instead of charging you money it takes an item from you and then the managed machine which you can give to the players Handy little plugin, I like it. I like it a lot. 11 out of 10 to Grey Wolf. Uh, got any problems with it? I'm sure you can send me a message on YouTube or whatever and I'll see if I can give you a hand. Now, on that now, uh, have a nice day. I'll see you all again.